The idea that, that selfishness is a complete uh, philosophy is just kind of obnoxious. I'm a Christian libertarian. I believe we do have a duty to the poor, that's the Christian part, of, although it also, by the way, involves God and all that. Um, but I, but, I'm a, but I, I believe that the best way to help the poor is through the market, through innovation. And it turned out, the great social experiment of the 19th century turned out that if you leave poor people alone and don't impose stupid regulations designed to help other people on them, they do very well. They're creative. Um, and we all get much better off. So I'd like to change conservatives and libertarians. I'd like to change their uh, rhetoric towards saying, our purpose is to help the poorest among us. Because that's what we, because we've got, we've got it right. <laughs> and the regulators and the socializers and the redistributors don't have it right. So what, what triggered this, um, this, this shift in public values? You essentially refer to the, the wisdom of crowds and a shift in public opinion that decided somehow that everybody mattered. Well, it's the accident that in the, in the Reformation and the English uh, Civil War and in the Dutch revolt against Spain and then in the American and French revolutions, ordinary people were made bold. They were, they, it, it's, it's the essential uh, step towards liberalism. Now, so, so hierarchy was weakened, steadily weakened. Now, come on, it was very strong. The United States had held slaves until the Civil War and, and so on. So I'm not saying we had perfect liberalism in 1800, but we had much more than we had before. And this inspirited people, made them think that they could, they could innovate. And I think that's necessary because you need a great mass of people for innovation to take off. The force of ideas, the, the force of ideas for cameras or sound systems or electricity, or, okay, those are ideas to begin with, obviously. And then they get invested in. Then they're there, and it's only if you have the idea, and it's a good one, is it worth doing the investment or making the institution to make it work. But behind that idea is the idea of, of liberalism in the old sense. The idea of equality before the law and equality of social standing that um, inspired the great bulk of people to think they could have a go. The magnitude of the innovation is so enormous by historical standards that you got to have something really radical to explain it. It can't be, oh, we built some canals and, oh, we exploited people in the slave trade and that did it all. That kind of stuff just doesn't work. It, it doesn't have what I call quantitative oomph. But what happened is an almost insane degree of cumulative innovation. These balls are not made of ivory, they're made of plastic. Um, once the balls were all made of ivory and that was the only way you could do it. Once you had candles <laughs> instead of electricity, once you didn't have air conditioning, once, 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 once. And it's, it's that the thousands of innovations, large and small, that made the modern world. Not just mechanical innovations, but institutional innovations, like the modern university. The key is the birth and prosperity of the Northwestern European idea of liberalism. And the notion of equality, that everybody mattered. The notion of equality, that everyone mattered. And there, I, I call it Scottish equality. Scottish equality, uh, uh, Adam Smith, uh, the blessed Adam Smith, is that there should be equality before the law and equality of social standing. Uh, the French idea of equality is that there should be equality of outcome. And that's, that's the usual way we, we use it. 
And that, that's a mistake, I think, and, and is a very poor way of thinking about how to run the economy or anything else. Because look, we're, we're unequal. Um, you're taller than I am and, and probably smarter, and, and uh, someone else is, can run faster than I can, which would be really easy. And someone else is younger than I am or older than I am, whatever it is. Uh, equality is a, is, a, is a hopeless goal. It's a silly goal. Whereas relieving poverty is a goal we can actually achieve and in fact have to a good, good degree.